fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. <sighs> right, okay. Let me explain. Marshal Tukachevsky has been killed. Yesterday, Marshal Tukachevsky went to... Uh, this is March 18th, 1947, by the way, we're in now. We've been here a little while since the last little update I did. Um, yesterday, Mar Marshal Tukachevsky went to the Kremlin when an unknown terrorist threw a bomb into him, killing... Marsh, killing the marshal and himself in the process. Um, General Moretzkov has become provisional leader of the country for the time being, but who will direct Soviet policy? Um, the 12th, I think that says, it's in Roman numerals, or whatever. The 12th Congress of the VKP um, will take place in 1948 and will decide gen the general direction of our country. Uh, so we now have plus five dissent, which is really annoying. Um, and the head of state is now reverted just to Sovnarkom, which is like the kind of like parliament or whatever, I don't know. Um, yeah. Oh, and our projected limits have exceeded, so we got a bunch of extra resources, which I don't need because I've got fuck tons of resources. And, uh, yeah, we're fighting some partisans, and the Germans are providing air support. And uh, it's taking a little while, but they're going to die soon. I'm attacking across a river. I was lazy, couldn't be bothered to move over to somewhere where there wasn't a river first. Whatever. We're also upgrading loads of shit to. Um, well, the Germans apparently have some tanks, judging by that little panzer there. Um, I've been building as well um, a whole bunch of. Instead of. I figured. It, right. Instead of um, just building armored divisions which are quite expensive and take a while to do. What I've been doing instead is building uh, medium tank brigades, which I'm attaching to some of our mechanized divisions and stuff, which will give them a huge um, boost in terms of um, stats and stuff, which is great. Um, I mean, I'm just trying to find something at the minute. Strength, organization, role... Damn, it's not listed there. Never mind. Um... So that's cool, that's like a cost effective alternative to just building tanks flat out. Um, what else? Ah, yeah, I've been upgrading our fighters, we actually have, and I don't think I pointed this out earlier, one squadron, well, it's not squadron, it's like four squadrons, but one group of squadrons up there, one group of squadrons down here, one group of squadrons here, and another one down here. And they're all interceptors, and I've upgraded them actually to the first level of turbojet uh, fighters, which you can get, which are these um, LA-152s, love educating LA-152s, um, which is great. I'm researching the next level of turbojet fighters in the minute, so I'm going to upgrade them again after that, um, because our Air Force was getting a bit out of date. Uh, we now have, where are they? We now have three squadrons of strategic bombing wings, uh, which we can load with a nuclear bomb, because we've got a nuclear bomb now. Um, we've also completely fully upgraded our reactor in Volkuta to uh, level 8, which is the maximum level of the reactor we can get at the minute, and the infrastructure is upgraded to 40% as well, which is lovely. Um, our next nuclear bomb will be ready on the 3rd of May, um, so a month or two from now, which is good. Um, and I've been, in the meantime, just, again, researching more crap, uh, like more better strategic bombers, more interceptor fighters, better radar, um, miniaturized vision bombs still going on, and the uh, land doctrine stuff still going on. And I've been just sort of clicking around in France looking for good nuclear bomb targets. Paris obviously seems to be the number one at the minute with an industrial capacity of 21, which is huge. Um, so that's certainly going to take a nuclear bomb hit. And other possible candidates are. Uh, Chateau Thierry, um, some of these German ones they've taken, possibly Brussels, because they've also occupied Belgium, um, possibly Essen, since it has an industrial capacity of 12, um, yeah, that kind of thing. I'm not really interested in using them on troops so much, uh, because I think we can do more damage if we drop them on population and industrial centres, um, because not dropping a nuclear bomb not only does damage to the 
place. It, it basically destroys fuck tons of industrial capacity, per, per, and it's permanent damage as well. It's not like when you normally use strategic bombing, where it damages it and they can rebuild it. Um, you know, where they can repair it. If they want more industrial capacity in that province after you've nuclear bombed it, they're going to have to literally build it again, all completely from scratch. So that's why nuclear bombs are cool. It also completely destroys the infrastructure in that problem, province as well, which further, you know, destroys their industrial efficiency. Um, and in, it raises dissent hugely in that province and the surrounding provinces as well. So a couple of nuclear bombs going off in a kind of a chain uh, can create a huge amount of dissent, which is fantastic. Um, I remember in one game I did as... I think it was a multiplayer game, actually, with a friend. Um, and I was playing as, I think, Japan, possibly? No, I think I was playing as Russia. He was Japan. We were allied. And we had invade, we were going to... We were, we were all with the United States. And we spent a couple of years island hopping throughout the Pacific. Um... And we basically, at the end of the game, I had about 20 nuclear warheads saved up. Uh, because it was like 1950s at this point. And I just dropped them all across the United States in large population centers with high industrial capacity. And the, their, um, their descent skyrocketed. And they were really easy to take down because they were too busy deploying their, pretty much their entire army um, to try and quell partisans and revolts and things and that across the country because of the effect of you know, the nuclear bomb hits. The Germans have sent a... Um, okay, so the Germans have sent a, a U-boat down here near Florida for some reason. Um, and the French actually have a, apparently a squadron of four small ships up there as well, but the Sprites are submarines, so we know they're submarines. So the French have submarines floating around near the American coast as well. Um, I'm beginning to feel a bit left out, actually. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should build some submarines and go float them around America, too. <laughs> Just to join in. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's basically it for now. Um, nothing else of importance, so I'll be back soon. Okay, so it's finally popped up, the event I was after. Uh, 1948. It's February 17, 1948 right now. Um, today, the 12th Congress of the VKP has finally begun. Different factions want to assume supreme power over the Soviet Republic in order to reform existing political and economic systems in a way they deem appropriate. What will happen at the 12th Congress? Which faction will gain majority? We can go with the Red Generals. Uh, our head of state will be Konstantin Rokossovsky. Head of government will be Kirill Meretskov. Um, true syndicalist faction, which will make our head of state Sergei Kirov and head of government Nikolai Shvernik. Um however I'm going to go with the red generals because well oh, I need to adjust some sliders which is kind of not really important at all but uh, I'm going to go with the red generals because since we're kind of building up to a war World War 3 anyway I think it kind of makes sense really to have um, to have the leadership be composed of like the red generals so uh yeah fuck it let's go with them yes head of state konstantin rokosovsky uh he's okay i guess of descent growth rate plus 10 percent money production minus 10 percent plus 10 percent supplies plus 15 percent transport capacity both of which will probably be quite important later on and he reduces descent growth rate a little bit as well, so that's okay, I guess. Um, that's okay then, I suppose. As our partisan revolt risk still annoying in areas like Poland and that little bit of Italy, but yeah, there's nothing I can do about that really at the minute. Um, I guess I could put you guys on anti-partisan duty, I suppose. And we've got more. Brigades finished. I've equipped a whole bunch of dudes with. Uh, where the fuck are they? A uh, whole bunch of dudes like these guys here with the uh, medium tank brigades. All the uh, mechanized guys have tank brigades, or almost all of them, apart from that one guy there. Um, so that's good. Which has boosted their stats loads because I've realised that pretty much all our infantry are probably out of date compared with France's because we've got not infantry 1945, and I'm almost certain the French have infantry 1948. But because we've got all these like artillery and tank brigades attached to our guys, um, we are actually probably still going to beat them because our stats are much much higher. Also, I've been moving st the standing army 
drafted army slider over to standing army as well, which has reduced the time and cost for upgrades, as well as increased uh, the experience of our manpower and our organization bonus. So our troops are becoming progressively more badass every passing day, uh, which is good news. So we also have five atomic bombs now. Five of them. Five. Um, which is almost enough pretty much to just completely cripple France, actually, I think. Um, in a first strike, we've also got plenty of strategic bombers as well over here. We've got one, two, three, four. They're also being upgraded to these... Uh, uh, turbojet strategic, strategic bombers as well, which is good. So we've got one, two, three, five of those, one for each uh, warhead, which is great. Um, our interceptors have been upgraded again to Lavochkin LA 190s, uh, which is good. I don't know how good the French are in that department, but uh, I guess we'll find out sooner or later. Um, the French are researching hunter groups, advanced logistics, improved antibiotics, turbojet close air support, um, and basic semiconductors. The British are researching massive strike, 1948 motorized infantry division, 1948 mechanized infantry division, advanced logistics, and turbojet fighter 1948. So they're actually behind us, the British, in terms of um, our interceptor fighters. So that's good, at least. Um, yeah, I'm kind of. I think it'll be pretty soon. We actually uh, do declare war on the French because at the moment I think we've briefly got the upper hand. Oh, other stuff. The Bulgarians went completely nuts. Uh, declared war on Romania and Serbia, invaded and annexed them, and then puppetized them. So the Bulgarians are going a bit mental, and they're currently in the process of, process of invading Greece too. So yeah, Bulgaria's gone a bit berserk, uh, but I can't be bothered to deal with them. As I said, all that crap comes later. Our descent as well, actually, which is great, is only 2% now. 2.88% uh, anyway. Um, which is cool news. Maybe I can re re reduce that even further. Yeah, there we go. Now it's 1.88%. Um, so that's awesome. We've also got an industrial capacity in total of 441 after all those infrastructure upgrades. So now Warsaw's got 100% infrastructure. Uh, Moscow's at 100%, uh, Leningrad's got 100%, which is all good news. Um, Vorkuta's been upgraded to level 9 nuclear reactor, which is why we're building nuclear, so many nuclear bombs now much faster. Uh, its infrastructure's now upgrading towards 70%. Uh, when's the next nuclear bomb going to be finished, anyway? On April 16th, so they're building pretty fast now. Uh, as far as I can tell, I've had a look around, the French don't have any nuclear stuff at all, which is fucking hilarious. Um, I don't know about the British, actually. I don't think they have, not from what I can see. Um, the French have not built a nuclear reactor anywhere, as far as I can see. I think it would show up on the map if they had. Um, it's not located in North Africa or anything crazy like that, so yeah. Um, the Frenchies do not have any nu nuclear technology. I don't know about the Americans, come to think of it. Um, but I can't find anything about them because I'm completely failing to send any spies to them. Which is a bit annoying, but whatever. Um, the Canadians... I would be very surprised if Canada had <laughs> nuclear weapons. Um, but whatever. Uh, we might actually add them to my list of countries to... Uh, Spy on actually as well. There we go. Get a bit of info about those those guys. Um, at some point. So that's basically all there is to say for now. I'm going to carry on for a little bit longer. Um, just sort of prepping everything, getting everything ready, um, finalising my plan for how exactly I'm going about go about doing this. Um, so yeah. Um, but uh, for now, I'll see you guys later.